Welcome everybody. Today's Let's Review, uh, Let's Play a Board Game is Escape of the Dead, as you'll see there in the black box that did not come with it. This is a free print and play. And we have some other ones coming up still from uh, Game Win Games and all that good stuff. But uh, I thought I would take a moment to do this one because I talk about this one here and there. And it is one of three of my most essential... Uh, I've probably given out 12 or 13 copies of this game over the years. Um, I enjoy it. What you're seeing here is the portable edition we're going to be playing a round or two of to explain this to you. This is not the uh, normal edition. The normal edition is still very cost effective because it only uh, costs you basically the cost of printing one page. And the normal edition is in black and white and fits on one page. This one has a full color rule book here done in what they call a pocket mod style, which means basically that you cut out the rules and they will fit in a little packet style uh, thing in there, eight pages to most pocket mod rule books. We'll set that aside. Uh, I actually found that uh, box at like a craft store, I think it was about a buck fifty. And just, you know, sprayed it black. These are just some dollar store D6s. You'll need four of these to play this game. Uh, now let's get into the game itself. Take a look at the cards. We have the garage card. And yes, these are laminated. You print these cards up separate. Uh, you cut them out. You laminate them. You make your own markers. You can use, just use a grease pencil or a dry erase marker. Uh, and the setup is you'll start with one zombie on the lawn. You'll start with the zombie marker here or the gun marker at the normal game on zero. Uh, the barricade marker on ten and the repair marker for your vehicle on zero although that is not expressed in this portable book it is here so that you will learn it uh, and as you'll see the closer you get to fixing your car the more zombies that will appear in the lawn per round this is really the end game the way this game works is like this you have resources resources in this game are your dice actually so you will have to worry about what you spend your dice on. Uh, you only get four. Uh, so each round you're shooting. As you see your little person here is peeking out the window there at the barricade. Peeking out onto the lawn, shooting at the zombies there. And so you will shoot at the lawn. You will... Try and keep the zombies off of your lawn. You will try to keep uh, your car going and finally escape your house. So this is really like a Night of the Living Dead game. Uh, and I like it because it's very compact. It's very fast to play. It's a solo game, which means you don't, you know, you can just pick it up and play whenever. Uh, and the reason I picked the portable version, that is my favorite version of this, is actually, one, it's all ready to go. It's all ready to pack up and go and colored in. You can make your own box or container to put it all in. Uh, I'm not, I don't like the markers I have, the, the three little marker things that I have there that I'm using. Those are just, like, foam that I got for free. They were just scrap. I'll probably go and actually print up uh, from the normal full page version. There are three symbols, one's like a wrench, one's a, they, they're much nicer looking symbols is what I'm saying. And hand color them in and laminate them and then put some felt on the bottom and glue them because I'm a stickler for games and board games and pieces. So what we're going to do, let me show you, uh, is when we start off, we start off automatically with one zombie on our lawn and you have a variety here. I just picked this little dude. I'm going to call him Larry for this round. Hi, Larry. 
there's Larry. We we'll call him Bob. Looks like the camera would quit dicking around here. Zoom in on him. Hundred dollars for new webcam, folks. Hundred dollars for new webcam. Uh, if any of you who watch Let's Plays can help me determine how to get my camera to zoom in faster and focus faster without being a dick, let me know. Anyways, so that's Bob. We're going to get Bob, put him on the lawn, uh, and what you have to decide is how many dice are you putting in each. So I'm going to put two dice here on the lawn, one dice to keep up my barricade and one dice to work on the garage. Now that doesn't seem like a lot except you start with one zombie and then you add a zombie for your first round. Now we're going to resolve these and you can resolve them in any order but I go in order lawn, barricade, house so you'll roll these and I definitely killed one zombie there with the six. Uh, However, the one did nothing, so let's pass a bob off there. I'm going to move my gun marker, or in this case, a zombie head marker up one. Successfully kill a zombie on a row of, and it shows you here, three, four, five, and six. So they're not hard to kill. Uh, now, basically... I'm already at the right thing here, which is 10. Your barricade is actually your HP. If that reaches 0, you're dead. Um, all I'm really doing this round, if I do barricade this, honestly, is preventing this zombie from doing damage to my barricade. And lastly, my garage thing, and I didn't... Damn, I did not repair anything with that. I don't know if you guys could see that row or not, but if you could, you saw that's a two, and I didn't repair anything. So, okay, so the next round here, he would hit my barricade and knock it down one, but because I've repaired my barricade one, it would stay. So the next round will now begin. I need to decide what to do. Uh, I feel like I have a good business model going for now until the amount of them increases we're gonna do that and we're gonna add a clown zombie there's a clown there's a bride they actually have quite a few uh, zombies here and what they've done with the portable version I don't even know why I'm trying to zoom in on this here for y'all because apparently my my camera hates these so we're gonna try and zoom in like this instead it seems to like doing that better yeah, it's much prettier and yeah that worked better so we're going to try to get both of these on our turn. You'll probably see Mutant Dog uh, walking around here in the studio. He's still a little lost without our other pup. I think I told you on our last video, sadly, we, we lost one of our, our two pups passed away. So we've been dealing with that, which is why we haven't been updating our channel as much. Ah, uh, shit. Again, I hit one of them. Did not hit the other. So we're going to remove him. Keep the clown one. And get a story going where I'm... I'm picking off the ones as they get closer. And we'll see whichever one... Was... Was... Staying there is the one that was closer. We're going to go and try the barricade again to... Block the damage he is undoubtedly going to do. And we have passed that. For another round... And yes, finally, that's a six, so the wrench will go up one that round. It's sort of a catch-22, because as you get to the end game, you're helping yourself, but you're not. Um, now, you'll notice here, there's a counter. At the end of the zombie one, once you reach ten, you actually get a reward, and you can pick from a list here, and they are destroy all zombies, Repair 10% of the uh, car. S steps zombie spawn next turn or fix uh, a percentage of the barricade. 
It says here 9 HP of the barricade. So basically almost all of the barricade. Uh, so those are really good rewards for picking off 10 zombies. So it pays to keep your zombie count up. And that's really all there is to it, guys. And it's a fast, easy game. Uh, it doesn't take long to play. You can, you know, like I said, I'll put the link in the description. It's a cheap game to print. It's a cheap game to play and enjoy. Um, if you don't have six-sided dice, you can pick them up at any dollar store nowadays. Uh, if you don't have a box to put it in, most dollar stores have a craft section now where you can get just a little box like that, like a hobby box, and put stuff in there, and you should be good to go, honestly. Um, anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Again, this is Escape of the Dead on Let's Play a Board Game, and I hope you guys enjoy. Link will be down below. It's for the full page of it. The edition I reviewed was the portable edition. Uh, if you click on the section, you'll scroll down the page, look for files, and you'll look for that. You'll see the normal and portable, so you'll look through that, and then uh, you'll want the portable edition. But I, either edition, you know, I would say grab all of it, because um, it's free. So, you know, a little free print and play zombie game. If you got D6s laying around, there you go. Um, and get creative with the, with the boxes. A lot of people like uh, me that like print and play games, we get creative with the boxes. It's a lot of fun. Alright, you guys enjoy your day. Make sure to throw a uh, thumbs up. Um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. we got more stuff coming. And uh, enjoy your day. This is Bones signing out.